During the late 2007, Hit was on the thinking of turning the four big hit stars into CGI, short for computer animation. These four stars included Bob the Builder, Fireman Sam, Angelina Ballerina, and of course, Thomas the Tank Engine. Later, it was confirmed on May 2008 that they will do the CGI changes. So the great discovery was the last time that they would use the models. So on September 1st, 2008, Season 12 was released. But again, this time the show will look completely different. In Season 12, they still use some of the models for the engines and places, but the people and the engines' faces will now be in CGI, so the engines' mouths can be moved, and so are the people. Also, Pierce Boss was supposed to be the new narrator for the show, but he left for unknown reasons. So the two original narrators, Michael Brandon and Michael Angelis, are still the narrators for the show. The CGI was done by a company in Canada called Nitrogen Studios, and the CGI is directed by Greg Tierman, and the models are still done by Stephen Asquith. But this would be Stephen's last season to be the director for the models. So after season 12, the show is now in full CGI, starting with Hit's third directed DVD movie, Hero of the Rails. The plot of this movie is that there's an old engine that Thomas discovered, and it's up to him and his friends to make him brand new again before Spencer finds out. Not only that this is the first time that the movie will be in full CGI, but this is also the second time that the engines will now have their own voices. The first being Thomas and the Magic Railroad. But unlike Thomas and the Magic Railroad, the engines will have different voice actors from now on instead of having the narrator voicing all of them. My name is Thomas. Ah, my name is Hiro. Thomas wasn't sure what to say next. Also, this movie is Ed Welch's last time of composing for the show. So now Robert Hearthstone would be the one working on the songs. Also, the songs are now sung by a man named Sam Barrett. But he did not sing all the songs from the CGI series. There are some other people that sang for the songs too, like Stephen Frank. So after the movie, season 13 of Thomas and Friends aired on January 25th, 2010. This is the season that fans really dislike the most, saying the episodes are more unrealistic than before with episodes like Splish Splash Splosh and Thomas and the Runaway Kites. Like, there's no brake fans on any of the trucks or freight trains. And the episodes this time are 10 minutes instead of 7 minutes. In the UK, they just show the episodes every day. The US is the same thing as Season 8, but this time, in between, we have a song and a new segment called Down by the Stations, where we get to learn about the jobs that the railway staffs do, and how the engines work. On September 7th, 2010, the fourth Thomas special was on its way, called Misty Island Rescue. The plot of this movie is that Thomas is sent out to the main line, but the chain from the steamboat has snapped, and now he is on Misty Island. So with the help of Bash Dash and Ferdinand, and his friends, he may get back to the island of Sodor. This is the movie where some of the old characters were starting to come back, like Stanley Butch, and of course, Diesel 10. In fact, Diesel 10 gave the people a little hint about the next Thomas special, but we'll get into that later. During the same year that Misty Island was being released, Season 14 came out on October 11th, 2010. This season has some mixed reviews with the fans of the show. Some say it was a little better with episodes like Beam Percy, 
Victor says yes, and Tom is in charge. While others said it was alright, but there were still some bad episodes like Pop Goes Thomas, Thomas's Tall Friend, and Henry's Magic Box. On March 1st, 2011, Season 15 came out. Now there are two problems with this season. One thing is that this season was supposed to be out after the fifth special, Day of the Diesels. But they put it out for unknown reasons. So there are some characters that we really don't know too much about. Like Belle, and Dan and Dart. Also, this season is known as to be the number one worst season of the entire show. Almost all the fans have hated the seasons for its very unrealistic episodes. Like Up, Up, and Away, and Wonky Whistle. On September 6, 2011, hit release Day of the Diesels. In this special, Percy is upset because Thomas and his friends are not paying much attention to him, but more on the new engines, Bill and Flynn. So Diesel tells Percy to go to the Diesel Works, and there he meets Diesel 10, and he helps him and the Diesels take over the Steam Works. During the making of this film, it was going to be called Charge of the Steam Bridge, but it was soon changed to Day of the Diesels. Also, this was the first special where Robert's son, Peter, would help him with the soundtrack, and for later specials as well. When it was released, it gave some mixed reviews with the fans of the show. Some say it was a bit of a step up after the last special, Misty Island Rescue, with no rhymes and alliteration, and having Percy being the main focus instead of Thomas. Others were complaining about the new characters having not much to do in the movie. During the same year that Day of the Diesels was being released, Christopher Audrey published his new railway series book, in an honor to celebrate his father's 100th birthday, Thomas and his friends. This is said to be the final book for the Railway series, mostly because this is the first Railway series book to have the words CN at the end of the book. But what does that mean for Thomas? Is there going to be no more Thomas? Or is it still going to be shown? Laughing on the other side of your boiler soon, this is demon. <laughs> yeah.